Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for our topic of the week here is going to be the Queen of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the, um, the Four card. I mean, really? Alright, so the next one is the positive aspect, and I don't want to even see this one. It's the Page of Swords. Okay, that, that's peculiar. And then the next one, the last one, it is the guidance. Everything hangs into this one and that will be the King of Swords. My God. So it's kind of like, it, it does look like the two people were fighting for our attention here, right? It's, it, it's like fighting or rather like trying to convince us that what they are offering, it is the better thing from the other one or different than, for example, having two men fighting for your attention to um, friends fighting for your attention, you know, to employers fighting for your attention and etc, etc. And the only difficulty here is going to be deciding which one you're going to make your new beginning with. I, that's, that's the whole thing in, in this reading. But before we look into those people, see their uh, properties, you know, see what they're good at, how they play out in these kind of stuff, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one here, which is the topic, is going to be the Queen of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, challenges that we need to overcome here. That is going to be the Fool card. Afterwards, it is the Page of Swords, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one, that will be the King of Swords, which is our guidance, or what we should be throughout this week. All right, so uh, Queen of Swords, well, that is uh, very assertive and uh, usually in tune with the present kind of person, or in other words, emancipating person. Uh, it doesn't really handle uh, denial and disappointment very well. As a matter of fact, that person is uh, pretty much uh, used to have it her or his, uh, his way. Uh, you need to know that the Queen of Swords, when someone is marked with the Queen of Swords, they have been through a great deals, deal of problems. Okay, They have a huge life experience in, uh, on, their, um, on their account. And for that reason, it is very difficult to change their opinion in any way. It is very difficult as well to catch them off guard either. And uh, because of this vast experience that they do have, they usually know how to get their things done. They usually know how to push their things through. Additionally to that, uh, if um, uh, on a more practical level, the Queen of Swords could represent right, a, a medical doctor who is going to improve your health. So if you do have a schedule, um, 
you know, medical uh, doctor visitation throughout the week, this is going to produce rather significantly good results. The accompanied card here is going to be the the Five of Swords formation. It is a active support and support uh, supportive. Now this person does not care. All right, with this with the Five of Swords, they do not care what is going to cost them their agenda. And for some reason, you know, um, we are following as their agenda, and uh, pretty much it's it looks like that they are willing to do whatever it takes regardless of the cost, regardless of the price, and regardless of what the rest things. No difficult, for example, um, let's say that you're chatting with someone, okay, that it is long distant, distance, and uh, this week they decide to come and visit you, regardless of what this is going to cost them, regardless of what their friends are telling them that, you sh that they shouldn't do it, you know, because they're going in a, uh, a new state or a, or a new country that they know nothing about and etc, etc. It's simply they do have that experience that they can rely on, which kind of makes them very confident and very cocky. Important thing to be acknowledged to acknowledge here is that you need to be a bit gentle with them, okay? Because right now, for what it seems as a general topic, and as a follow up to the next card, it doesn't look like that this person has a, uh, a kind of like a negative attitude towards you, but it it quickly can traverse into negative attitude, and they could be a fearsome enemy. Just saying. Uh, the next one is going to be the challenge that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the full card. And the time has come, you know, to open yourself for um, the newness, right? For example, for me, this is going to be about relationships. I have no doubts about it because in everything else, I am pretty happy of how I stand. The only thing that lacks into my life, all right, it is just relationships i don't date i don't have people of interest in these kinds of stuff for what it seems this week you know at least a couple of them are gonna show up unless this isn't about a business proposition to close my tarot business all right and i have a, a i don't know what kind of an offer has to be that you know to make me close my tarot business and to start working something different but uh, the full card here, it is about opening for the new, it's not even an opportunity, guys, it's more like a, the new probability, okay? You don't have to, or we don't have to kind of throw everything we got into it, but our mindset needs to open for the uh, probability, you know, that we can be, the, 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 we can have our life even uh, dappled, even with more, exciting things let's say it that way another thing is that you should that we excuse me that we should approach the whole thing with the queen of swords in a little bit more carefree and detached and detached fashion in a sense do not take everything personal okay it is just right now the uh connection that that we are gonna have with this person is so um in in a, such an early stage that anybody can say anything you know without meaning what they have said if you know what i mean the accompanied card here is going to be the ace of wands the formation it is a uh, active uh, friends definitely we're talking about and an opportunity gaining for enterprise here that we scorpios may find a bit reluctant to take on because it's going to change our life uh, for sure for example one relationship is going to change drastically my life because i like playing my video games, you know, I like doing what I do, you know, I like doing what I like to do. And being in one relationship or start dating is going to change that in a significant and dramatic manner. I'm talking about myself, you know, and for that reason, we may find ourselves challenged to say yes, because, you know, we have to change with it. The accompanied card here is going to, not the accompany, excuse me, but the positive aspect of the week is going to be uh, the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is another person. Uh, again, someone who uh, really craves for our attention, but not because they want us for them, but because they want us to see 
that that new probability okay or that the world is wider than we think it is the page of swords here plays a role of unexpected new source of help that comes around and an idea statement for example you know or just someone opens our eyes the the hell with it you know i mean try it out and see what happens if it happens great if it doesn't happen even greater okay at least you know that you tried it out and it didn't work and so for that reason you just move on with your life uh, as your life were until this uh, this moment and uh, you know no harm done at all page of swords is very uh, in a positive aspect it is a very alignable i don't know if this is a, an english word you know but it is a person with a great subtlety of aligning uh, willing to comprehend on any kind of uh, change in the scenery and as your scenery changes here okay they will try to see to, to make you see the things from a, a positive end the accompanied card that we do have it is the seven of cups formation it is a active neutrals and uh, from one side you know as the situation with the queen of swords kind of evolves you may start kind of like floating in the in the sky floating among the clouds and while this is good the page will always try to keep you grounded through it also um <clears throat> well that that was not the right thing i wanted to say or maybe you are getting it the wrong way it's not like uh, the page is gonna kill your dreams or is gonna burst your bubble all right but more like we're talking about how you're gonna get there okay you may dream about you may start dreaming about that you're gonna be, be in a relationship with this queen of swords all right or that could be for example business proposition that you are start imagining how lucrative are going to be and the page is gonna be whoa 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 hold on a second all right you just first need to sign the contract or you know start dating or start living together you know there is a technological steps that you gotta take either career or either relationship to get there yes you can but do not get ahead of yourself that's the whole point here with these two cards and the last one it is the uh guidance that we do have for the week that is going to be the queen the king of swords so the king of swords here points that we should take advantage of our influence that we have among people and among situations that makes me think for example that when the queen comes around uh, that queen definitely have either an attraction to us or either uh, sees us as a um, for the time being irreplaceable part of the business or of her life or something about it which gives us authority which gives us influence so we need to try to use that is influence the best we can additionally to that the king of swords here points that we're going to have very good analytical sense in um in meaning that uh, whatever is happening in between us with with the queen of swords that is we will be able to place the accurate analyzation over it okay so there won't be any kind of buffling there won't be any kind of presumption we will kind of know what this person is telling us okay or what that person wants to tell us which is going to make us probably two steps ahead of him and the final card here which is the accompanied one is going to be the ten of cups the formation it is a um, active uh, neutrals that we do have so while it will be so tempting you know to neglect the disadvantages that this situation has all right or this connection has it will it doesn't deprive the situation from disadvantages in other words if you pretend that certain problems does not exist that does not make those problems disappear right and while for the time being throughout this week we can neglect those problems or these disadvantages these things that bothers us all right into this person that will not serve neither us nor this person queen of swords and for that reason these two cards are urging us to address those uh, those differences for example you know let's say that this is a new person that you're going to start dating with 
it's this person is really into you and by the way if that is it about dating there is there will be a strong chemistry in between you two is there gonna be love not at all you know but strong chemistry and that is a pretty good start all right at least in my book because for me being in a relationship uh, only thing that matters is mutual reliability uh, mutual trust and chemistry it's all that I need okay so there will be a strong chemistry but in the same time there will be differences in the behavior you know and in in for example in how you tackle with things and while the differences are making the special into one another uh, there could be a better way to synchronize those differences i'm not saying that you have to change nor that person can change but you know uh, it could be done in such fashion that can become more bearable bearable for each one of you and <coughs> excuse me find that common ground which will lead you to compromise with those differences so that being said scorpio this was uh, our weekly tarot reading for september 2nd to september 8th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're gonna see each other around until then bye